got a tree job today, so we're going to get the truck loaded up. For today, it's going to be a down only. I will have to go back and clean this up later on, but it's been soft, warm and soft this year. It did cool off last night pretty good. I think we're in the upper teens right now, so at least we've got firm ground to get in there and get these trees fell. Three big willows. They're not like giant canopies. They're actually in decline by the lake, but they're kind of fatty, so we'll throw in a couple of the bigger saws and get to work. Here's the first one. It's kind of a multi-stem. He's gonna eventually take these other two, but they're wanting to wait a little bit. So we're gonna do three today and maybe these last two or three next year. But we've got room here to lay it down. So I'll probably put a rope in this one. I'll just have to figure out if I can get the truck back here or not. Pull on it with the winch. That's the first one, and the other two are over here. We'll walk over there. All right, so here's these two. Got a multi-stem unit. Oh yeah, this one's going way back. February, we ain't got no ice. Bunch of honkers out there. Beautiful morning. We should be able to yank this one over though. That way once this one's gone. Yeah, we'll just send this one towards that red pine there. Kind of between the red pine and this maple right there. And we'll miss the birch. So we'll probably just do this one in two shots. And we should be able to pull that back one off. I gotta see if I can get, it'd be nice if I get my truck back in here. Just so I got the winch to pull on. This guy that I'm doing work for today is a good buddy of mine. I grew up with him. So I've been here before doing some work. We fell, this was a large spruce that we tipped over that way. It's probably already a few years ago. You can see he's got a beautiful property here. All right, we got the truck easily down here. It's actually pretty firm, so that's good. We're just gonna get a rope up in this tree, face cut it, flop it over. And then I just met with my buddy who owns the place. We're just gonna probably process as much brush off of it as we can, kind of leave it in a pile. We'll see what we have time for today, but we're gonna prioritize getting these on the ground for him. And he's going to do as much as he can by himself. He's got equipment to do it. So he'll haul the brush to a dump and maybe move the wood himself. And then if he needs me for any other work, he'll let me know. But we'll get him on the ground. Use the Husky 395 today. 
get her fueled up. Now we're pulling on it.
right, we're cut up now. So I'm just gonna stand back and hold the thing over. Not quite a four footer. Worked out great. We didn't hit nothing on the way down. Wasn't much left of that tree. I think what I'm going to do is this one stand alone. I'm going to set up on these next two now. I'll get my rope all out of here and we'll tip these next two over. And then with whatever time I've got left, I'll start processing these for him. So we'll speed up the process here on these next few. I'm basically going to be doing the same thing, throwing a rope in them. This one right here, the, I guess it'd be kind of Northwest lead. We'll probably just dump off of there quick. Throw a rope in, do that one, and then, like we showed, this one's leaning back hard. So we're going to get the truck set up, probably in a little different location for that. Cross that bridge when we get there, but we'll tackle this one next. Yeah, it's hard to say on this one. I think she would probably go. This is a little high though. We can probably make it work. It's gonna be a reach though. I'm debating just making the cut on this one stem versus making a stump cut through all of this. Uh, boy, I'm, I'm feeling like it's leaning out that way. Definitely depends on where you stand. And then from here it looks like it would go. Yeah, I'm thinking it's leaning that way. So it ain't gonna be that hard. We'll throw a rope up just into that union. I'll get the truck positioned over here and then we'll make sure that it comes down in the right spot.
Well, that went fine. I don't even know what the hinge looks like. It's up there a ways away from me. Yeah, all right. So after a little throw line trickery, we've got actually a hard tie up there. You're not gonna be able to see it, I'm sure, but. So we're up in there, coming down to the truck. I'll show you what we got going on at the truck. So we're going maple tree assist on this one. Alpine butterfly to a block. And then obviously to the truck winch and then over here, tied off to an ultra sling around this little maple tree. So that'll give us not quite two to one mechanical advantage, but mostly just to keep the weight off the truck. Because I have pulled this truck with this winch over these chocks before. So that'll just display some weight, actually give me almost twice the pulling capacity as well. That tree is leaning hard off the back. So I just wanted to have a little extra insurance. Let's go get a face cut in this thing. So we've got this old lead that kind of busted off here. They must've cut it at some point in the past. I think I'm just gonna leave that on. I don't want it rolling into the water. So I'll make my cut up here, kind of where the ribbon is. And we're gonna try and shoot it actually to the west or to the left as we're looking at this of that stump there we created. And it should just lay all kind of right into here. That's the plan.
right where we wanted it, I guess. So I've got a few hours yet to burn. I think we'll get out the little saw and just start bucking on some of this stuff. I'm going to shed a layer though. It's getting warm. Sun's beating on. It is a beautiful day. I guess that's gonna do it for today. We've got it all, I mean, pretty well bucked up. Not in a firewood or anything, but he's got a pretty good size skid steer. And so he's thinking he can pick these all up. So I guess that's gonna do it for today. Thanks for sticking with me. We'll catch you on the next one.